arm pump can be a real killer when it comes to riding, making the mellowest of blue runs into absolute torture. It can destroy your arms, rendering you completely useless, like a T-Rex trying to clap. Yikes. Well, fear not, because in this video today, I'm gonna check out what arm pump actually is and how we can try and avoid it out on the trail. Arm pump then is essentially your poor old forearms and your hands, well, just failing you slightly. Yep, it's going to occur mostly on really long runs or when you're gripping onto the bars very, very tightly. And it feels like when your hands cramp up and they lock into like these claw-like positions or you're struggling to pull the brake and your actual forearm, so down the front here, is rock hard. Yep, it's not a good feeling. That feeling is caused then by essentially lactic acid and fluid buildup in the muscles. Yep, all that crap is just sitting in there. And that's because fresh oxygenated blood is flowing into the muscles, but due to its constriction, you're gripping on so tight and there's so much tension in there, it's not actually able to flush the crap back out. Fresh oxygenated blood isn't able to freely flow through, which has given you that mega cramped up pump feeling. Yeesh. If you know you're heading out for a particularly long ride or maybe hit some real rough downhill trails, then there are some things you can do beforehand to help ease your way in and try and stove off that arm pump. So for example, I wouldn't begin by just smashing runs to begin with because your arms, well, they don't get any time to adapt. Try and ease in with a slightly chiller run, kind of, kind of like a warm up, so that your arms do get a bit of a chance to, uh, to acclimatize if you like. Next up, I'm gonna talk all about the setup of your bike and mostly the actual cockpit. So the cockpit can make a huge difference to things like your grip lever position where your hands are angled up and down because this can all change the way and change how you hold on to the bike, whether it puts more or less pressure on the palm of your hands. If it's putting more pressure or you're finding it hard to reach for the brakes or cover them, well then you're gonna to have to grip more tightly and therefore use more strength to actually just hold on. So let's see how I have mine set up and how I would sort of suggest you try yours perhaps if you are struggling for mom, maybe. So cockpit setup then. I've been riding a fairly long time now, so I've got some actual numbers that I go by to set mine up. So my brakes are always at the same angle, 37 degrees, but a general rule of thumb for something like that would be when you're standing up on the bike, a lot of people will look to have their brake levers at the same angle as their arms. Now, I have mine a fair bit flatter because actually, when you're going really steep like that, having the brakes down here it means I'm reaching around to try and get them. The same with lever position. I don't want my brake levers really far out or pulling really far in because then actually, I'm having to squeeze on tighter and squeezing on tighter puts more tension in my forearms. Bars. Width is 760 on mine, but back sweep is not too harsh. When it comes to bars, playing around with what bars work for you can be really good. So these are a fairly low 20 mil rise with an eight degree back sweep and a five degree up sweep. Now, what that basically means is they're not sweeping back too far like that because if they were, I'd find that they put too much pressure on the outside of my palm here. And then that can cause me to grip on too tightly. So they're a fairly flat bar. So when I take all these things into account, it means that my grip and my body position is in the right place. When I'm on the brakes, pulling with just the one finger there, that I've still got a good grip with the rest of my hand, and that hopefully that holds off the arm pump for as long as possible. But having a fiddle around, having a play with how you have all these levers in position is gonna be crucial. And I would recommend just like suspension, putting in runs and runs and runs to see just what works for you. Suspension is next then, and basically the main problem here is that people might go too firm on the suspension or it's not forgiving enough. Now you might see the pros hammering down trails or you might have even seen a pro's bike and it looks really firm. Well, basically it is because they've got the strength and the ability to muscle that thing around. Now for most of us out there, that firm suspension basically brings everything through the bike and into our body or into our arms and our forearms and our hands, trying to basically just hold on and absorb everything. Again, meaning that we're just gripping on too tight. What I would suggest here that if you are finding arm pump to be a real problem on those rough downhill trails, 
potentially drop the suspension pressures a little bit to try and absorb a few more of the bumps or play around with tokens if you can. Doddy's done some great videos on what tokens actually do, which you can find that linked in the description below. However, you could drop the pressure, but to stop your suspension blowing all the way through its travel, add some volume spacers in there. Having a play around, doing some runs over the same track, this can be a great way of finding out what is going to work for you. There's loads of exercises out there to help rid your arm pump. And on top of that, there's also gizmos, things that can help train your grip. From spinny balls that gyrate in your hand and you have to hold on to really tight, to simple grippers, you know, the things you squeeze together. There's gym exercises as well, which will help out. But basically, the long and short of it is that you need to train your forearms and hands to be able to cope with the long periods of gripping the bike firmly. So any exercise you do do, need to try and incorporate this. So if you're gym inclined, then you could try any kind of kettlebell work, where the constant gripping of the handle will train your forearms to deal with the stress. Pull-ups, great for grip on the bar, deadlifts, and any other grip heavy work is always a winner. It's not all training an arm pump though that can help rid you of that horrible arm pump. No, there are some actually other great fun ways that you can incorporate into your life to help tackle it. Things like trying other sport. Yep, ditch the bike altogether and head out there and try some different things. There are some great sports out there which you will be surprised will really help with that forearm pump. Or well, really, no one wants it. I feel invincible in every way. Now my personal favourite, and I know this is going to be a tricky one because it's hard to just turn up and have a go, but it's motocross. Yes, moto is great for your, well, your general strength all over, but forearms and grip in particular because, well, muscling a big old motorbike around a track for 20 minutes at a time is flipping hard work. But I do understand that it's very hard. Not everyone has motorbikes and not everyone can just turn up to a track and pay as you play. It's, it can be pretty expensive, I get that. So another alternative is climbing. Climbing. Flipping Spider-Man, he must have forearms like nobody's business. You can turn up to a lot of climbing walls, hire a pair of shoes for the day, and it is a fairly cheap, accessible way to mix things up. Just pay and have a go. Failing that, if you want to save money completely, well, I understand, because times are tough. Just get out on your bike as much as you can. Mix up the styles of riding you do, do some downhill runs, do some XE, some dirt jumps, some pump track even. Just constantly mixing things up is going to get your arms really working and giving the once over. There's some pretty simple things we can do whilst riding as well, whilst we're out on our bikes, which they seem very simple, but you can forget them when you start getting into the swing of things. So just breathing, make sure you are breathing properly when you are doing your runs, doing your long rides and stay hydrated. Yes, air and water, they are pretty essential to life, I'll be honest. And you can chuck an energy tab in there, things with uh, lots of electrolytes, salts, things like that, which are gonna help replenish you. And also keep the body flush, so you're keeping that blood nice and oxygenated, and you're replenishing all the salts and nutrients that your body's burning up as well. And it just helps keep all the crap going out. Don't forget it, water and air, you need them. Whew, that is it for arm pump. I am pumped just thinking about it. If you've got any great ways of how you would get rid of arm pump, share them with me. I'd love to hear. Drop them in the comments down below. But I'm going to go get my pump on down this black run here out in Salbach. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. It's been a pleasure. Until next time, catch you later.